Zero. Ignition. Liftoff of L87. Go Falcon. Go, go. February 2nd in California, SpaceX launched a classified government satellite into orbit, NROL 87. Stage separation confirmed. Believed to be a top secret state of the art spy satellite that the Pentagon says will support its overhead reconnaissance mission. Also watching that launch, Moscow. And just last week, Russia launched its own spy satellite, Cosmo 2558, placing it in the same orbit and just beneath the U.S. satellite. That's really irresponsible behavior. In an exclusive interview with NBC News, Space Command, four-star General James Dickinson says Russia may be trying to get an up-close look at U.S. spy capabilities. We see that it's in a similar orbit to one of our high-value assets for the U.S. government. And so we'll continue like we always do to continue to update that and track that. This is the U.S. Space Com Jack with an Operation and Limit Defender Conference. All conferees respond when pulled. Last week, our cameras were the first ever allowed inside the Space Command Joint Operations Center in Colorado Springs. The zenith, the very top of our space operations centers within the Department of Defense. Where the U.S. watches and tracks every missile and rocket launch anywhere in the world. From the war in Ukraine to Chinese military exercises off Taiwan. We're certainly watching what's happening in, in Taiwan right now. To that Russian satellite launch. We have the mission set, if you will, of missile warning. And so just as you mentioned, the events that you're talking about, we provide that on a daily basis, really 24 hours a day, to the nation in a global perspective. So we're watching that very closely, just as we are in other places around the world. How quickly do they learn that something has launched somewhere in the world? We have some really good space capabilities today that will tell us almost immediately if there's been a launch. Longitude 80 degrees, 36 minutes west. This is the newest infrared satellite used to detect the heat signatures from any missile or rocket launch anywhere in the world. This is half scale. The real satellite is about the size of a school bus. Russia has uh, a similar capability with its own satellites. International satellite trackers say it's no coincidence that Russia launched its rocket at the very moment the U.S. spy satellite passed over the Russian launch site. Do you have an understanding of what that, what the United States spy satellite is capable of, what we launched back in February? Well, from the orbit it is in, we know it is some kind of imaging satellite, so it is taking pictures of the surface and it was uh, launched in a similar orbit as earlier imaging satellites that we know as the KH-11 or Advanced Crystal. And uh, in terms of capabilities, you might remember that uh, a few years ago, Donald Trump, when he was president, tweeted uh, an, uh, an image photograph of an Iranian launch platform. That is the kind of capability that these satellites are capable of, to so make very detailed images of the Earth. There is a, a part of the, the current new Cold War is also going on in space. It gave added incentive to the development of Earth orbiting satellites for photo reconnaissance. So it, it, it's basically part of this, this cat and mouse game uh, that's going on in space. In 1956, the U.S. Air Force established a forward looking development plan for what would become a family of satellite systems to collect various types of intelligence including photographic coverage of denied areas. In a show of force last November, Russia blew up one of its own orbiting satellites. And we continue today to track almost 1,500 pieces of debris from that uh, incident and that test event that they did. A new Cold War moving from the ground to space. Tom Costello, NBC News, Colorado Springs. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.